So let's start by creating a new Papyrus project. UML project. Let's put a name. So oh, this is the name of the root uh, model element here. And press uh, finish. So now the first thing to do is to apply the FMIML profile. So this can be done through the profile tab. Select apply registered profile and then FMI 2.0. And select FMI profile and press OK. And we can also import a couple of uh, useful model libraries. So this can be done by importing register packages. So the first one is the foundational model library. So a couple of predefined um, functions, arithmetic, logical, and so on. So this is part of the FUML standard. And let's also import uh, the UML primitive types uh, library, which defines basic things such as um, integer, real, uh, boolean, string, and so on. OK, so let's save. And now let's create a first uh, package uh, for our first model example. So uh, in this example, we are going to see how to create um, an FMU uh, from scratch using Papyrus. So let's create a new class diagram. So on the right, there are a few palettes available, but we can filter it and simply keep the CMEX uh, class diagram palette, which is a simplified palette for executable UML modeling. So let's create a class. Uh, an FMU is modeled with class. Uh, this FMU will be called A. Uh, this class shall be active, which means that when it is uh, instantiated, the, the associated behavior is automatically started. And then we have to apply the CSFMU stereotype to identify that A is an FMU. So now uh, let's create uh, the behavior for this FMU. So this is done using an activity diagram. So once the activity diagram is created, an activity is automatically created, but we have to rename it. So this is the classifier behavior for A. And once this is done, we have to uh, identify in the model that this activity is the actual classifier behavior for FMU A. So this can be done uh, by selecting the FMU and go to the advanced tab and then select a classifier behavior. So let's define the inputs and outputs of our FMU. So this can be done in a composite structure diagram. So inputs and outputs are represented as uh, ports. So we have a first port called uh, X, and this is going to be uh, an integer. So we reuse uh, integer from the UML primitive types, and we will have a second port called uh, Y, and this one will be a Boolean. So the ports are defined, but we need to add a couple of information, and this can be done using the port stereotype from the FMI profile. And uh, in particular, we will give the direction. So in this case, this is an input, but we will also give a value reference. Uh, and it's important that uh, all the ports of the FMU have different um, value references, otherwise you get some problems uh, when trying to simulate. So in this case, this is an output. And we will set a different value reference, so in this case, 1.
So our FMU is now defined so that we can perform a simulation experiment. So let's switch to the debug perspective and create a new uh, Mocha launch configuration. So the first thing to do is to select the model and to select uh, the FMU that we want to execute. We also need to select the appropriate execution engine. So in this case, the FMU engine for debug. We press debug to start uh, the simulation and we'll see this pop-up appearing which identifies all the inputs and the outputs of the FMU. Uh, there is a button for uh, init and then once it is uh, in it you can step forward. So of course here in this example nothing happens when we press a step. This is because the classifier behavior is empty but we will complete it in the further examples. <coughs> 